Good morning, YouTubers and students. Uh, today, what I would like to do for you is give a quick explanation on how to calculate a net present value, internal rate of return, and modified rate of return all in Microsoft Excel. Um, as you can probably see here, this Excel is for Macintosh. Uh, as we go through, I will explain the differences for PC. So. Quickly, let's, uh, let's get a lay of the land here. I have a cost of capital at 8%, uh, a reinvestment interest rate at 3%, and I have my years and my cash flows. Year zero, which is now, I'm going to invest in something that's gonna cost me $1 million, and then my future cash flows here, starting at 50,000, 100, 200, et cetera, all the way down to year 10 at 500,000. Now, to calculate a net present value, first we have to get the present value of our future cash flows, which are here. So let's go ahead and do that. So uh, the present value of cash flows, what we're going to do is go up to formulas, go to insert, financial, uh, NPV. We want net present value, which is right there. Now, uh, Macintosh users, go ahead and click on the formula builder. PC users, the formula builder should automatically come up. Your rate, uh, rate will be your cost of capital, go ahead and plug that in. And then your values, uh, go ahead and click and drag down here. And that should be good, press enter. That gives us a present value of cash flow. So in English, what does this mean? In English, this cell means that the present value of our future cash flows of 50, 100, 200, 350, 350, et cetera, all the way down to 500 in year 10, the what all of these future flows are worth today is what is just over 1.6 million now to get the net present value I we can get get rid of our formula builder to get the net present value what we do is we have to we have to basically sum the present value of our future cash flows to our uh, year zero cash outflow so I'll say equals that plus that, which gives us a net present value of six hundred thirty thousand um, dollars. A, a lot of the times, the acceptance criteria would be if the net present value is above zero, go ahead and accept the project. We would most certainly accept the project. Um, in English, what does this mean? In English, this means with this project, given the uh, initial cash outlay and the future flows here. In present day dollars, this is going to result in a $630,000 increase um, in value to me. Now, let's move on to internal rate of return. Internal rate of return, same type thing. Go to insert, financial, IRR, where are you? There you go. And open up the formula builder, values. Now, for the internal rate of return, we want to capture that. that initial cash outlay as well as, as, as well as all the all the future cash flows so click and drag all of the cash flows b5 through b15 and hit enter it gives us an internal rate of return of 17 and a half percent now our, our judgment criteria here is basically if if the internal rate of return is greater than our cost of capital, which it is, we are to accept the project. So that's also a good acceptance criteria. However, one caveat to the internal rate of return is it's a serious one. It's, it's the caveat of the future cash flows. They have, to be in re, they have to be reinvested at the same interest rate as the project. So these flows will, are to be invested at the 17 and a half percent in the real world this may not be entirely realistic so thanks to the wonders of uh, wonderful mathematicians of the 18th century we have the modified internal rate of return the MIRR so let's take a look at here MIRR uh, insert financial MIRR Okay, formula builder. Now we have different items here. The values, uh, same type of thing, so click and drag down the values, okay. 
the finance rate. This is going to be our cost of capital. Boom, 8%. And then the reinvestment rate. Uh, click on the reinvestment rate. So this is saying that these flows can be reinvested at 3%. Um, and again, since we hard, I'm sorry, since we uh, entered in the cell number, we can play with this number as we see fit. So once we have that entered, go ahead and hit enter. Now this gives us an inter a modified internal rate of return of slightly less than 17.5%. This is less, it's just under 11.5%. So what does this mean? This means that these future cash flows if they're reinvested at 3% over the life of the project, I will realize an 11.5% uh, rate of return for this project. Um, and again, we can, we can play with this reinvestment rate of return. We have 5%, that'll bump it up to a little 12.2. So, and, and you know, we can play with the cash flows as well. Um, thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for, for more videos. Thank you.